Can the phone we carry in our pocket be any good for product photography? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video. I thought it would be fun to shoot on the new iPhone SE to see what the actual camera is like shooting product photography. Now, this phone is basically just the iPhone 6, iPhone 8 reinvented, new bits inside. Camera's still the same as the iPhone 8, but it's been upgraded due to the processor. So we're going to see what it's like for shooting product photography. I thought this would be a little bit of a fun exercise to see what kind of quality we can get out of this phone. Now there's not going to be nothing fancy. We're not going to do huge lighting setups. We're just going to use one light. App of choice on the phone is Lightroom Mobile. Basically just so I can use all the functions of the camera in manual. Now we're shooting with continuous light. So this is kind of the best way to go in my opinion. I'm able to adjust the ISO settings, the shutter speed, the white balance, etc. So I'm going to get the best results out of the camera for this product. So let's get into the shoot. So before we get started, we are going to be using a continuous light. So once I start photographing, I'm going to, have to turn out all the other video lights and any other lights that will affect the ambient exposure of that product. That's one of the downsides of using continuous lights, but one of the good sides, what you see is what you get. So you're going to be able to see where the light is falling on the product, which makes the whole process a lot easier. So like I say, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to set that up on the tripod. I'm going to screen record from the phone so you guys can see exactly what's happening through the lens. And we'll see what kind of result we're going to get shooting this, uh, this setup. Dead straightforward. One light above a screen. This is just tracing paper. If you want to know any of the gear that I'm using, I'll put links in the description below. So this is all achievable for everybody at home. This is just straight tracing paper. It's very inexpensive. It's about £20 a roll. We're shooting a light through that, which has given us a nice little gradient on top of the product. And then we're just using white cards to bounce the light or reflect the white card back into a product. So it gives us a nice overall exposure, a nice clean exposure that hopefully the phone's going to produce a great image from. So let's get shooting. So I've got the Lightroom mobile app set up. Um, I'm recording the screen so you'll be able to see what's going on. I've turned out the light, but you can still see my reflection in the watch. So you've got to be mindful of that. If you're close to a product, it's going to reflect. So I'm going to take some of this away so I can show you what it's actually doing. Now, if you can see, obviously, the bracelet of the watch is lit really nice. But if I put my hand over there, all that's doing is just reflecting the white card back onto the silver bracelet. And the same with the bottom. It's just reflecting the white card back onto the bracelet. And this light above is just giving us that lovely, lovely glow on the watch and giving away a nice little shadow underneath the, uh, the dials and a nice little gradient on it also. This card at the side, if I take this away, this one is just literally giving us that nice little rim light around the side of the watch just to finish it off and allow that to stand out from the background. Like I say, all of the stuff, all of the gear you use will be in the description below if you guys want to check that out. So we'll take a shot with our watch as it is. Focus on there and we'll take an image. But the good thing about this mobile app is it allows you to shoot raw. So you're getting a lot of information in these images. But what we're going to do using this app is allows me to manually focus. I'm going to take a couple of images, stack them together so it's really sharp. So we'll do that now. So as you can see there, just allows you to take the images when they're sharp and then we'll stack another one on top of that where it just changes the actual focus point and that should be enough for us to take into Photoshop, blend together and produce a really nice sharp image. Now this light here, I don't know if you can see, but it's literally just highlighting the logo that if I move this light up and down a bit, you can see how much it's just reflecting the light onto that logo there, just a tiny, tiny bit. If I move my face out the way and I'll take another shot, I think from that, it's looking really good. Now, all you've got to do now, take that into Photoshop, brush out the acrylic rod, and I think that's going to make for a really, really good product photography shot with an iPhone. I'm rather impressed. So there you go folks, as you can see from obviously taking them into Photoshop, stacking them two images together, doing a tiny little bit of touching up, always make sure your product is clean, get rid of all the dust you can, otherwise it'll take you a long time in Photoshop to get rid of all that dust. It's a must. But by combining both of those images together folks, painting out the acrylic rod, you've got yourself a really fantastic product shot using an iPhone. 
and everybody's got a camera in the pocket these days. It's all about just using the light and this again is nothing, nothing that anybody can do. It's just one light, it's a simple light. And by moving this light around at the top and watching where the light falls on the product is going to dictate how you want that watch product shot to look. And you can see the effect right there of just how effective it is just by moving that light back and forwards. Um, like I say, that's one of the great things about using continuous light. What you see is what you get. I just thought this would be a fun video to put together, folks, because a lot of us have all got phones, we've all got good cameras, and we've all got lights available around the house to use. Tracing paper, super inexpensive. Like I say, all the links will be in the description below. But overall, great result with an iPhone, folks. So I hope you've gotten something out of it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It was fun putting it together. A little challenge for myself to see what kind of image quality you can get out of an iPhone. And uh, I am impressed. It's worth doing. Instagram, Facebook, them types of platforms. Perfect for this type of thing. Um, so there you go. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to head over to the website where on my blog there's more tutorials, you can have a read of uh, other tutorials on there. And whilst you're over there, consider subscribing to the website also to be the first to hear about new blog posts, tutorials, and anything else that's coming out. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.